The bustling port of Brixham on the southeast coast of Devon is one of the UK's busiest fishing ports. Both Brixham and nearby Plymouth have a long history of beam trawler fishing, which has been practiced here for hundreds of years. The crews normally head out to sea for a week at a time. They mainly fish in an area off the southwest coast called 7E, known for its rich stocks of sole. Beam trawlers get their name from the two large beams on either side of the boat that support the large funnel-shaped nets. This type of fishing is especially good for catching flatfish like sole, turbot and plaice. Over the last few months, fishermen from Brixham and Plymouth have been working in partnership with scientists from CFAS on an innovative project called Project 50%. The crews have been trialling new types of nets that are designed to reduce what's known as discards. Discards are young fish and small sea creatures, or benthos, that get caught in the nets along with the larger fish. The young fish and benthos have to be separated out from the catch and discarded or thrown back overboard. The crews taking part in the project are aiming to cut the level of discards by 50% using newly designed nets. It's easy to test the nets on a beam trawler. You can fit the traditional net on one side and the new net on the other side. The holes in the traditional net are quite small, but in the new nets they're bigger, making it easier for small fish to escape. Once the catch has been landed, it needs to be sorted. The crew sift out the discards and only keep the larger fish that they can sell back at the market. For the fishermen, the less discards there are, the better. There's less work to do sorting the catch, less waste to get rid of, and less damage to the fish, which means better quality and better prices at the market. Reducing discards is clearly good from an environmental point of view. And for the fishermen, it's helping to create a more sustainable industry that will continue to provide jobs for their children and grandchildren. With this catch here, you can see the obvious results. Just two boxes of discards from the new net versus five boxes from the traditional net. After the fish is sorted, it's taken down to the storeroom and packed in ice to keep it fresh. The job of a fisherman is physically demanding. It can also be dangerous, especially when the weather is rough and windy. But with public demand for fresh fish growing all the time and local communities relying on fishing to make a living, sustaining this industry into the future is vital. At the end of a long day on board, the CFAS scientist records all of the information from the day's catches, and the crew take time to rest and recover. Someone will cook up dinner, and there's time for a much needed nap, or to make repairs to the nets. The nets used in these trials were designed by the fishermen themselves and made locally by expert net makers in Devon. The overall results from across the 10 trials in Project 50% have been really positive. The new nets have reduced discards, sometimes by as much as 68%. The fishermen themselves are delighted with the results and the trials have reassured them that these new nets don't reduce the market value of their catch and can even improve catch quality. The results have also been shared with other beam trawler crews in Brixham and Plymouth and the fishermen and scientists involved in the project are keen to spread the word to fishing communities around the UK. This project has been a real success, with fishermen, government, scientists and industry experts all working together to make a difference. What everyone wants, from fishermen to environmentalists to scientists to consumers, is a sustainable fishing industry that will still be around for future generations. Project 50% is a big step in the right direction.